Welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse and Happy Valentine's Day! We've been waiting a long time for Valentine's Day to get here and now it's here. And I have one more Valentine's Day book to read to you. And this book is called Silly Tilly's Valentine. Silly Tilly's Valentine. This is a story about a little mole named Tilly and she has a very, very silly Valentine's Day because she just keeps forgetting to remember things. She has a little trouble with her memory, but luckily she has some friends who come along and help her remember how special Valentine's Day is. We need to get into this book and what, find out what happens to Silly Tilly on this Valentine's Day. Are you ready to get into one more Valentine's Day book? with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Silly Tilly's Valentine. Story and Pictures by Lillian Hoban. It was Valentine's Day. Silly Tilly was baking cupcakes. Bring, bring, the telephone rang. Good morning, Tilly Mole, said Mr. Bunny. Do you remember what today is? Oh dear, said Tilly. I forgot to remember. Tilly can't remember even why she's baking the cupcakes. Well, today is a special day, said Mr. Bunny. Look out the window and you will see. Silly Tilly looked out the window. It's snowing, cried Tilly. It is a special day, just right for making a snowman. Snow is nice, said Mr. Bunny, but it's not what I mean. I will see you later. He hung up. Hmm. I wonder what he's trying to get Tilly to remember. Maybe if I go outside, I will remember why today is special, said Tilly. Then I will know what Mr. Bunny means. Tilly put on her boots and her coat. She opened the front door. Swoosh! The wind swirled snow all around her. Goodness, said Tilly. I forgot how cold snow is. I need a scarf and mittens. Tilly put on her scarf and her mittens. Tilly has trouble remembering things. Tilly went out in the snow. Wherever she looked, everything was white. The bushes in the garden were white. The trees were white. The path was white. The mailbox at the end of the path was white. But something in the mailbox was bright red. Oh, cried Tilly. That looks special. Maybe that's what Mr. Bunny means. She's rushing over to the mailbox. Tilly ran down the path to the mailbox. Swoosh! She slipped. Plop! She fell down. Oh dear, said Tilly. I forgot to remember how slippery snow is. She really doesn't remember things. Tilly lay flat on her back. The wind blew snow around her. Snow fell on her face and sprinkled her glasses. Goodness, said Tilly. It's snowing so hard I can't see a thing. Now her glasses are all covered with snow. And she forgot about the red thing in the mailbox. Just then, Mr. Mail Mole came to deliver some valentines. Tilly, he called. Why are you lying in the snow? Are you making snow angels? Tilly blinked her eyes, but she could not see. Is that you, Mr. Mail Mole? She asked. I can't remember why I'm lying in the snow, but I don't want to make snow angels. I want to make a snowman. Oh, good, said Mr. Mail Mole. Wait, and I will help you. He tried to stuff the valentines into Tilly's box, but there was no room. Wow, her mailbox is full of valentines. Mr. Mail Mole put Tilly's valentines down in the snow. I'm ready, he said. He started to roll a snowball. We will need a big snowball for the snowman's bottom, he said. We will need a carrot for his nose, said Tilly. Tilly ran to the house to get a carrot. But she could not see, and the wind blew her around and around. She forgot where she was going. She ran toward the mailbox instead. Suddenly, the wind blew Tilly's valentines up out of the snow and into the air. Red hearts and pink hearts swirled over Tilly's head. Oh, cried Tilly, how lovely colored snowflakes. I will put them on the snowman before they melt. Tilly hurried to pick up the snowflakes, but they weren't snowflakes, they were her cards. But she could not see, and she bumped into the mailbox. Is that you, Mr. Mailbox? She asked the mailbox. Help me put these snowflakes on the snowman before they melt. Tilly, where are you? Called Mr. Mailmole. He went up the path to her house and knocked on the door. The snowman is finished and he needs the carrot for his nose, he called. Oh dear, I forgot to remember the carrot, cried Tilly. 
Now she forgot the carrot, too. Just then, Mr. Bunny came hopping down the road. I will tell you what else you forgot, he said. You forgot this. Mr. Bunny pulled a big red heart out of the mailbox. I made this valentine for you, and I wrote a poem, too. Oh, my goodness, said Tilly. A valentine. That's what I forgot. I forgot to remember it's Valentine's Day, and I didn't make a valentine for you. Tilly started to sniffle. That's all right, Tilly, said Mr. Bunny. He took out his handkerchief. Here, wipe your eyes. Tilly wiped her eyes. She wiped the snow from her glasses. She could see. She said, read the poem on her valentine. It said, roses are red, violets are blue, honey is sweet, and so are you. That's beautiful, Mr. Bunny, she cried. Thank you. That was so sweet. These are for you, too, said Mr. Bunny. He picked up all the red and pink valentines up out of the snow. There's one for Mr. Chipmunk, and one for Mrs. Fieldmouse, and one for Mr. Woodchuck, and one from... Knock, knock, knock. Mr. Mailmole banged on Tilly's door. Tilly, he called, are you there? I smell something burning. Oh, my goodness, cried Tilly. I just remembered. I didn't forget Valentine's Day. I baked Valentine cupcakes. Tilly ran into the house and into the kitchen and opened the oven door. There were the heart-shaped cupcakes, all golden brown and beautiful. It's all right, said Tilly. Just some crumbs burned. Tilly iced the cupcakes with pink icing. Mr. Mail Mole and Mr. Bunny took turns licking the bowl clean. They each had a valentine cupcake. And Mr. Mail Mole promised to deliver the rest of Tilly's valentine cupcakes to all of her friends for Valentine's Day. Wow, silly Tilly. She really was silly, wasn't she? And she had a really hard time remembering things. She was making Valentine's Day cupcakes and then she forgot what she was making them for. And then she went outside to see what was in the mailbox, but then she decided to make a snowman. She just kept getting distracted. But then her friends came along and helped her to remember that it was Valentine's Day. And then they helped her to deliver all her special Valentine's to her special friends. So Silly Tilly ended up having a great Valentine's Day. And I hope you did too. This has been so much fun getting ready for Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day because it's a time for me to tell my friends how much I love them. Like I love you. And like you should be telling mom and dad tonight, I love you. Because mom and dad should be your very most special Valentine. Now you think about that as you're getting into bed tonight because it's time for all my little Valentines to climb into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And whatever happens tonight, remember the most special people in your life are your mom and dad. You make sure you tell them how much you love them and every single day, Valentine's Day, Easter Day, Groundhog Day, Christmas Day, every day. You show mom and dad how much you love them. And we've talked about it. How do you do that? Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here every day ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.